Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We wanted to create a little video to show you how little it actually costs to travel long term in Vietnam. So basically, a little bit about us. We, we left our jobs behind to travel and as a result of that it means that we don't have any income while we're overseas so we have to basically keep track of all our expenses while we're away. So we've been travelling for four months now. So three of those months have been spent travelling in Vietnam so we have a pretty good idea of how much it actually costs to, to live and travel throughout Vietnam. Um, we've spent a little bit of time settling in one place and a bit of time on the road as well. So um, hopefully we can break it down for you and show you exactly how much it costs. I've listed all these prices in US dollars. Um, obviously everybody's costs are going to be different to ours. It, it's all variable but it, it, it gives you a pretty good idea of what, what you can expect to spend long term here. So with that in mind, let's get into the costs. So the first category is accommodation. Accommodation is always going to be your highest expense while you're travelling. That being said, Vietnam is relatively cheap. You can spend anywhere from a few dollars a night for a dorm, right up to $100 a night for five-star luxury accommodation. So it, this really depends on how you like to travel. For us, we like to have our own private space, so we always had our own private room. Um, sometimes that was in a hotel, other times it was in an Airbnb, sometimes it was a private room in a hostel. The most we paid a night was $15 a night, and that was our hotel in Hoi An, where we had a pool, we had breakfast included, it was a really nice big room, great accommodation with a balcony looking out over the river. Cheapest we paid was $6 a night a couple of times. We paid that once in Sapa for just a private room in a hostel, but still great view looking out over the rice terraces. And the second time was in Mai Chau where we got a bungalow for $6 a night. We also saved a lot of money on accommodation using booking.com referral links. Um, if you haven't heard me talk about those before, basically, we have a referral link that you can use and it gives you $20 off your next accommodation. It also gives us $20 as well. Um, it, it basically, it reduces the cost dramatically when you're traveling long term. So if every single time you're booking accommodation, you can get 20 or $30 off your next, your next day, then I mean, it, it adds up to a lot over the course of a few months. So the average for us over that three month period was 307 US dollars per month on accommodation. So the next category is eating out. Eating out was our second biggest expense. Eating out in Vietnam is still relatively cheap though. You can spend anywhere from under a dollar for something like a banh mi, which is a sandwich, or um, some, a bowl of noodles on the street. You can spend right up to seven to ten dollars for a western meal, like burger or pizza. Sometimes our breakfast was included in the cost of the accommodation, and that's a great way to save a bit of money as well. But a lot of the time we actually had to fend for ourselves for breakfast. So to show you how we ate, we ate out three times a day, almost every day, with about 80% local food to about 20% Western food. The local Vietnamese food is so good and so delicious that you very rarely want to eat anything other than that. But it was, um, yeah, it, occasionally you want to eat something from back home. So on average, over the three months, we spent 276 US dollars per month just on food. Drinks were our third biggest expense. Once again, drinks in Vietnam, very, very cheap. You can get a Vietnamese coffee anywhere from about 50 cents up to a couple of dollars if you're in a, if you're in a fancy cafe. And beers can be between 50 cents and a couple of dollars as well. If you want to go all out and get a cocktail, you can pay three to five dollars for a cocktail. Our average over the three months was 213 US dollars for that time. So our next biggest category was transport. Now our transport costs will probably be a bit different to a lot of other people's. We actually bought a motorcycle when we arrived for 380 US dollars, which I haven't included in this breakdown, um, mainly because we're gonna be using it for the next 12 months while we're in Asia. Um, you can easily hire a motorbike for around $5 a day or $50 a month. So in our transport costs, it includes uh, petrol, maintenance on the bike like oil, which normally costs about $5 for a change or uh, little bits and pieces along the way like brake pads or, um, or tires. Um, and it also includes uh, times where we've had to catch taxis uh, or grab, which is like an Asian Uber. And one time we caught an overnight train from Sapa back to Hanoi as well. Our average over the three months was 110 US dollars per month. So groceries were our next biggest cost. It's inevitable that if you spend months and months overseas, you're gonna to have to buy groceries. Um, it can be anything from toiletries like shampoo, conditioner, um, Sunscreen was a big one, it's very expensive in Asia. If you're coming across, make sure you bring your own from back home. 
Um, it also included things like a, a jar of Vegemite that we had a craving for, for some from back home, which cost us $12, which we found in Hanoi. Um, but yeah, so our, our monthly grocery costs on average were 68 US dollars per month. So the next one is tourist slash entertainment costs. So this one's pretty self-explanatory. If you're going to travel, you're going to want to see things. We are tourists, so we do want to go and see tourist attractions. We generally try to see as much as we can on our own. So we don't like to go and get guides or tour guides or anything like that. So if we can, we'll ride our bike to the tourist attractions, pay an entrance fee and explore on our own. So some examples of that were when we went to Marble Mountain in Da Nang or some of the caves in Phong Nha. Um, there are times, however, that you just can't avoid it. Things like boat trips in Trang An, which um, you, you obviously need a guide, you can't go and row your own boat around, and um, a, a few other little things. It also included for us going to the movies a few times, which normally was around about $5 a ticket, which is um, really, really cheap. So it's a lot cheaper to go to the movies in Vietnam than it is back home. But overall, we only spent $50 a month on entertainment and tourist costs. So the next cost for us is drinking water. You can't drink the tap water in Asia. I wouldn't recommend drinking the tap water any time that you're uh, traveling overseas. You never know what's in it. That being said, bottled water in Asia is very cheap. We spent $19 a month on drinking water, and that was from buying big 20 litre bottles sometimes when we were set up in one place, or just little one and a half to 600 ml bottles when we were out and about. The last category is not really a category, it's just miscellaneous expenses. It's things that I couldn't fit into any other category. Um, things like haircuts, bought clothes from a market when all my white clothes got really filthy work like being on the bike all the time. Or a few other little bits and pieces like that. So um, overall we spent $66 a month just on little bits and pieces, miscellaneous type things. So our total for three months traveling in Vietnam was 1,109 US dollars per month. That included everything. It's worth pointing out that while we tr do try to keep things as cheap as possible, we generally don't skimp. Um, we could have easily saved a couple of hundred dollars if we only eat and drink at local places. Um, you could also spend a lot more if you eat in restaurants every single day or you're, or you're staying in more expensive accommodation. So yeah, there you have it guys. That's our average costs over three months traveling in Vietnam. Um, I hope that that's been useful for you. I know when I was uh, doing research to come over here, it was actually really hard to find information that um, detailed the costs of kind of what we were going to do. There's plenty out there of people who are living in Vietnam, there's plenty out there of people who are spending a few weeks here, but people who are travelling long term, it's really hard to get that information of, of what you need. So I, I hope that somebody finds it useful at least. Um, if you've got any questions about any of the costs or you want to know something specific, uh, leave a comment down below and, and I'll, I'll try to answer it as best as I can. Um, it's worth pointing out that there's a couple of other little bits and pieces which I didn't include in, in this breakdown. One of them is um, visa costs, which is going to vary depending on what country you're from, how long you want to stay. Um, it's pretty easy to find that information out online if you want to. Um, the other one is travel insurance, once again, um, it, because we are travelling for 12 months, we bought our travel insurance up front while we were back home and uh, we haven't had, to, haven't had to worry about it since then. Um, once again, that's going to depend on which country you're from as to what kind of deals you can get. So that information probably won't be very useful for you unless you are in our exact circumstance. But yeah, um, yeah hope, hope you guys like the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We've got heaps more videos coming up from, from Vietnam as we travel further south. And yeah, we'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.